I'm Kent Rivers. And I'm Stan Calzone. Today on Real Clay Action News, we are going to look at Civil War reenactment disasters. Wait, what? Don't ask me. How could you mess one of those up? I mean, you had to be a complete sped to mess that up. There's a ton of ways you can mess those things up, man. What are you talking about? Well, yeah, but... Such as the DC incident that we had that we're reporting on. And the Gettysburg one. Exactly. Well, most of this cast is a field report, so over to James Camden. Hi, I'm James Camden, and apparently there are 10 people dead and 14 injured after some unknown Civil War-related accident today. Now, sir, can you tell me exactly what happened? He does have the right to remain silent. No. Wait a minute, I have a video. I have a video of exactly what happened here. Let me put it in for you. The cannon is part one of the... Well, thank you, Mr. Oh, walk away. Just w You know, Ken, it is better to just walk away from situations like those. Now, back to James Camdam. Kent, it seems that the president has put himself in this giant export sodas bottle for fear that terrorists were attacking when it was really just a cannon firing from a Civil War reenactment. You need to go to more extreme measures. Permission to proceed? Understood. Yes, proceed. <laughs> He's out. An amazing development in the president and the tent store. The president has come out of the tent. And it has also been documented that... Oh. Oh. Oh, crap. Okay, 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 back. Oh, man, dead again. Oh, man, we just killed the president. What? We just killed the president? Yeah. Oh, God. We killed the president. Let's do another basketball. Oh, my God, we killed the president. We killed the president. Wait, I'm receiving confirmation again that he's okay. In other news, the president is back in the tin and methods are still being exploited to get him out. 